Hi Natasha, this will be some final video feedback for you on the uh, web banner. And so we've got, what, two weeks left. Um, <clears throat> it's you know, time to make refinements and so forth. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Natasha, this is very, um, I like the silhouette quality to it. It's, it's very inviting, it's mysterious. Uh, I like your typography too, that you've kept things, you know, flush left or flush right. Uh, unusual way of combining the two. And I like your typography in general. You've made good use of uh, Arial. I do think you might be able to reduce the number of lines, um, increase the word space there. You know, perhaps include all with inclusive. And let's see, over on the right hand side. maybe make this a single line. I don't know. I like the bracketed effect too. Um, and I like the logo remains stationary for the most part. You might consider having um, fewer images. I'm thinking that, you know, this is the massage image is fairly rectangular. The silhouette um, is, or mask of the hand with a tropical drink is kind of organic. Uh, I'd like to see that, maybe more of that, extend farther into the, uh, of this, extend farther into the field, but uh, it does have a certain kind of balance. Uh, just know that you can have something balanced and it still be, it still can be asymmetrical, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be like a, uh, a barbell, all right? All right, I'm going to open it up in uh, Photoshop to see what your file structure is like. Uh, Natasha, good on you for, you know, keeping um, screenshots. You, you can include these with your final reflection as a way of illustrating it. It's not um, mandatory, but um, in the interest, you know, one of the things we've had, uh, I know that's not yours, that is, okay. one of the themes of the class has been embedding images, right? And that goes for a lot of things, discussion board posts, Photoshop files, embedding versus linking. Um, and here I would say that embedding images in your final reflection is, is a natural extension of that. Oh, wow. So I see that you have graduated to the uh, timeline editor. And this is quite sophisticated. Uh, let me scrub backwards. And move this out of the way. So while it does that, uh, I see that you, yeah, I mean, it's not just a simple, you know, four keyframe based animation. You have really made something out of it. But again, complexity of movement is good. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, maybe you have a lot of things going on. And you have these video groups. This is really sophisticated. This is, you know, way beyond a simple GIF animation. And good on you for, you know, tackling it and figuring out how to group things. Perhaps you have experience with it. Anyway, good job. Um, this is the last assignment I'll give a video for. <clears throat> and it's a nice high note to end on.